Hi there. Today we are going to continue with our manifesting of money. And this one is a really fun exercise. I'll tell you, it took me a long time to like wrap my head around this. So, you know, if you have a little trouble like resonating with it, give yourself a break and do self-exploration as to why this concept that is guaranteed to work is difficult for you to accept. Um, and like I said, it took me a while, so it might take you a while, or you might be like, I don't know what Benita's problem is. This is a technique taught to me by a friend of mine who, whenever he needs money, he visualizes the money already existing in his checking account, and then it's there. The first time he showed it to me, we opened up my laptop and he, or his laptop, <laughs> and he went on and showed me his checking balance and how much it was there. And he said, now I'm going to add $10,000 to it. 10,000 was his like comfort number. So we closed his checking account balance and the two of us went into a state of meditation. And what he did, he did it out loud so I could follow along, is he visualized himself driving up to the ATM. And he said for him, because he's visual, it is so important that he visualizes with absolute detail and clarity, like he's really there. He visualized, he goes to the ATM, pulls in his car, pulls up, lowers the window, pulls out his debit card, puts it in, types in his uh, PIN and you know, logs in and then types in that he's depositing $10,000, then takes a check that signs the back, puts it in, and it goes through. And then he gets the receipt, raises his, you know, gets out his debit card, raises the window, and drives away. He said that he went up to his ATM multiple times, just like imprinting and memorizing. He would go and check his balance like every day so that the process of going to the ATM was so um, intrinsic within him, he didn't even need to think. He could visualize it with his eyes closed and he practiced and practiced visualizing. Now, I at first was a little appalled. It feels like modern day bank robber. And he said, no, absolutely not. Because the money is not coming from anything or anyone. He said, inside the ATM, there isn't actually any money beyond, you know, what goes in and out. But when you deposit a large amount of money, what happens is it's changing numbers in the computer program. All he's doing is changing numbers in the computer program. The money doesn't come from anyone. It's just changing data. That's it. So um, we then, after he deposited 10,000, I'm like, holy moly, we decided to deposit 1,000 for me because like I was like freaking out over the 10 grand. And um, so we did the exercise together and an extra 1,000 appeared in my account. And I was like, oh my God. And then I freaked out the next day. I went to the bank and I was like, there's an extra thousand dollars in my account. Where did it come from? And they're all looking at me like, uh, it's your money in your account. It's like weird lady. So I, I made a fool of myself. Since then, I've had varying degrees of success with this particular technique because it is really hard for me to get out of the headspace that money must be earned, that money must come from somewhere, that money must be merited. So I've had a lot of work to do on myself of, it's just money, it actually doesn't mean anything. I can just make money appear or disappear the same way I can bend spoons or the same way I'm learning to apport objects, which I have like, because I don't practice steadily, <laughs> varying degrees of success. Now, I have shared this technique with people that I study with, people that I consider my, you know, masters, and the results that they've had on practicing with me as I was trying to explore this 
uh, one of them said they asked for $20,000. They deposited $20,000. And the next day, they got a $20,000 commission at work. So for them, the $20,000 appeared. It didn't appear in the checking account, but it appeared in the way that they were most receptive to getting it. And they were really happy, I'll tell you that. They do this technique all the time. Um, for me, the ATM doesn't work real well just because there's, I'm a very heart-based person. There's no heart-to-heart -heart connection. And I'm not super visual. Visualizing an inanimate object long enough to have a meaningful interaction doesn't work well for me. What I do is I have two things that work for me. One is I walk into the bank because I love the bankers at my bank. They're so nice. We've, I mean, they, they always remember my name. They greet me. They like ask about my family. They share with me details about their family, their kids, you know, like I love interacting with the people at my bank. And they they always help me, no matter what my situation. If they can help me, they do. They're so nice. So I go in, and the writing and the signing on paperwork, that doesn't work for me. And honestly, usually when I go to the bank, I have everything filled out already. And sometimes it's in an envelope. So I just visualize it's like that. I go in, and I've got an envelope full of cash and checks. And the paperwork is already signed for. And I go and I say, I'm here to deposit it. And uh, we chat and we have a good time. It's a real heart to heart. And then they're like, here's your deposit slip. Sometimes I'll go in with an exact amount. Like I have a check for $10,000. Let's put it in. How long do you think it'll take till it clears? No, no worry. That's good. And if they say it'll take five days, then I know that five days is a period of time when the money will come in. And I spend the next five days like really being receptive to something's coming in, something's coming in. And if they say, oh no, it's right away. Okay. So um, sometimes I'll give them an envelope and say, I don't even know what's in here. Surprise me. And they'll go, um, okay. And then they'll like, here's your reason. I'm like, I'm not even going to look at it because I know it's going to be perfect. And, you know, I do that because like, who knows what will happen? Either way, it's going to be fun. So I'm going to walk you through the two meditations quickly. Actually, the ATM one you can do on your own. Um, because again, it takes really visualizing it. But the uh, walking in the bank and chatting, Actually, you don't even need me to walk you through it. You just like close your eyes, open your heart and know that a bounty of money is in your hands and you are walking in with your envelope fat with cash or checks or the big check in your hand and the eight, the bankers see you and they wave, they smile you know, they're always so friendly and there's a jar of lollipops there that you can look through while you're waiting. You go up, you are greeted, chat for a bit. How are you? How are you doing? We haven't seen you for a while. Oh, I've been busy, but look, I'm bringing in all this money. Isn't it great? And you watch as they take your paperwork, and your money, maybe normally you use the ATM card right there with the little keypad thing. However, you always hand in your deposits. This is how you will do it today. You catch up with each other's lives, a little gossip. It's just easy going. They mention to you they have coffee maker over there and you're like, no thanks, I'm good. And then they hand you your slip and wish you a good day. 
And we say thank you so much. It's always such a pleasure to come here. Walk out. Remember, always ask them like, how soon will this go in? And they might say, oh yeah, no, no, the cash is going in right away. It's already there. And, you know, the checks will take three to five days to clear. They're like, oh no, no, this check comes from someone with an account with us. So it's cleared right away. You know, let these details come through. And don't stress about where the money's coming from. Don't stress about the amounts. You know, if you're stressing, then lower the amount. And remember, as you're learning to do it, like say you're like, you know what, $20. The $20 might not appear in your checking account, but then later you'll reach into a jacket pocket. You're like, hey, $20, nice. In fact, I have a jacket that hangs in the back of my closet because um, every single time I reach in my hand, there's somewhere between one to $20. That's a little trick I worked out for myself. We'll practice that tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everyone. And uh, open your heart and remember, the money only exists to bring you joy. So let it. Bye. Remember, remember to subscribe and bring your friends along. Bring your friends to subscribe. Help us manifest subscribers. And we will keep manifesting fun activities for you. Bye.